Hello, welcome back to my channel. And I have just arrived at Rock Lomond. Look at that. What a beautiful day it is. So this is a camp that I've been planning probably a couple of years actually. But uh, I wanted to do it in winter, but I've been staying up in Dumfries and Galloway there. So I'm halfway here, so I just thought I'd carry on. It's took me another probably three hours. Um, to get here and uh, with it being such a beautiful day I just took the opportunity to try and do a summit camp and I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the most southerly Munro in the Scottish Highlands, I think. So if I'm on Loch Lomond you probably guess where I'm going and when I say it's a solo summit camp this one, I'm on my own for this but I, well, I say I'm on my own but Sean's with me as well. It's his first outing just with me, so he's, I think he's a bit nervous about it, but because uh, every knee is not here to look after him, but I'll look after him, won't I? Look at that though. Right, so I'm taking the, I don't know, it's, I don't know what this path's called up. It's the path on the lock side. I'm taking that up up to the summit and then the tourist path back down tomorrow um, but being in autumn now this morning when I was driving up it was four degrees so it's going to be cold up here tonight and that's going to be a shock to the system after all these warm uh, warm summer camps my god anyway we'll get on with it Well, that's a bit better, just, it's got this on now. A breeze too, so that's nice. And Sean's got out. Sean's just got out for another, have a look round. Yeah, it's good, really good. Blue skies. Be happier when I clear this foresty bit, so uh, we'll keep going. Oh, heart rate, <laughs> anyway. Made it a bit further up now, probably, I don't know what height I'm at, I, I need to check on my phone. But uh, yeah, it's still nice, it really is. Clouds are just dusting across the top of, uh, this is probably up towards Arica up there. But uh, yeah, I just spoke to a guy who said it was, he was coming down, he said it was a bit clagged in on the top, but maybe that's the summit there. I don't know, I don't know. But if that is, it's clear now, as we can see. Yeah, so we'll carry on. Oh, is Sean still? Sean still all right? Yep. So I've just seen a bit of a ridge now. I don't know if that's the summit. Or maybe that one. Hmm. that yeah so I've done let's check 1.8 miles I think it's about three to the top <coughs> excuse me so I'm just getting the first views now was of what I'm assuming is Tarmigan Ridge there and the cloud is starting to just drift across it Again, I don't know if that's the summit. Maybe it's just over there. It must be up there somewhere. I'll soon find it anyway. And uh, dark clouds there too. Look at that. So we're not going to get any rain. I've got waterproofs, obviously, but I prefer not to get wet.
so I'm getting near to the bottom of that ptarmigan ridge now look at that the clouds are drifting across superb it's really bright up north as well but not so much <laughs> that way and this this cloud it's sort of that's moving across that way there's some going that way down there yeah there's just a gentle breeze really so we're going to be going up into that in a minute get around this corner i can just see the path there and then i don't think it's a scramble as such but uh it's only just a steep path yeah but uh, i'm starting to feel a bit chilly now when i when i stop i've stopped to talk to a few people as i mentioned before and when I stop, I, I, you soon get chilly in this breeze because it's quite cold. So I'm going to try and keep moving rather than take my rucksack sack off and put another top on. I'm just going to try and keep moving, keep generating that body heat. Um, but not to, not to be sweating, you know. Right, up there. So I've started the ridge ascent now and it's 12 minutes past three, I set off at five past one. Uh, it's knackering this. Uh -oh. You can tell the breeze is picking up with the speed of those clouds. going up here so I've just reached the first shelf now at the start of this ascent of this ptarmigan ridge and that breeze is picking up and I've only got this on <laughs> so I'm going to get something else on there. I might put some gloves on as well my hands are starting to get cold so I'd rather get changed here than halfway up there, start getting my rucksack on, off and getting changed. But it's definitely cold now. Whew. Right, rucksack off, change of clothing. Right, a bit warmer now. Gloves on as well, it's, it's freezing <laughs> in that wind. Good views though. So we're going up there. You see the clouds moving across now, see how windy it is. Still beautiful down there and more so to the north. Right, I'll keep going. Summit, I guess. Maybe. So I've just made it to the summit of Ben Lomond, 3,195 feet. Unfortunately, it's clagged in, but it's, I mean, my fingers crossed it's going to clear at some point. Sun's just up there, look. So hopefully it'll break through. It has been clearing a bit, see down there. And it's congratulations to Sean on his first Munro. He's happy. Brilliant. 
done a few corbits in the past but um, this is his first Munro so yeah he's done really well haven't you Sean? Brilliant that that cloud is just coming and going but when it goes it's amazing like that it really is um, but I got up here it must have been about I think it was about like quarter to four when I got up here, 20 to four, something like that. And there was a few people milling around. So I didn't want to start pitching a tent then when there's people here. It's too early, really. Um, so I spent time, I had something to eat, had a drink. Um, I just had a bit of a wander around looking for pitches. But it is difficult looking for pitches when it's all clagged in because you can't see anything. You've got to actually walk you know, away from the summit to try and find them. Although, if, if it was clear, you could just look, but you can't. Um, anyway, so I've managed to find a pitch. It's just off the summit, which is there, but I'm really pleased with it. The dilemma, as usual, is do I want a sunset or a sunrise? Which view do I want? Because up here, you can't get both. And there's also some signs up saying, keep off this ground here so you know i'm trying to do the right thing and do what it says but uh let me show you this pitch that i've got half past five now so sunset's at 20 past six how the hell did that happen god it doesn't seem so long ago that was sunset it was half past eight <laughs> but what do you think Okay, there's no views now, but I'm hoping that at some point there will be. There it is. I'm really pleased with that. I'm in the Illyberg solo, as you can see. Just off the summit, which is there. See that cloud coming through? there too yes yeah, so I'm just hoping it's going to clear and I think it'll be a good pitch this I've left uh, I've left Sean just looking after the tent while I went away so he's you know he's in there just chilling out a bit there he is so Sean's happy enough and he's bagged his first one row all pitched up. Look at that. Oof. Oof. Yeah, so another 45 minutes and the sun will be setting, which is obviously over that way. Hopefully, we're going to be able to see it. Um, sun rises in the morning over that way so that I've no clear view from the tent of that, but you know. You can't have it always. Right, I'm just going to uh, have a chill out, I think, for five minutes and uh, see if this clears. Hopefully, it will, and uh, get some views down to Lot Lomond. So it's 20 past six now and uh, just thought I'd get a brew on but the skies have cleared very briefly to that I'm looking forward to this brew though So it's half past ten now, I'm just having a chill out in the tent with Sean. Um, but it's so everything's soaking wet and damp. The clouds have uh, 
moved in again. It was clear earlier, really clear. And you uh, could see all the stars and everything, but uh, now the clouds have all moved back in again. It's just so damp. I've got the vent open at the top of the tent, but it's not making much difference. There's water dripping everywhere. Um, it's just how it is. It's always going to be damp these con in, t in the tent in these conditions. Um, there's a bit of a breeze, but not much really. I've got the door shut because that, that breeze was quite drafty. Um, yeah, but uh, it's just it's great to be up here. Um, it's quite, it seems ages since I did a, like a 3,000 foot camp um uh, with my i've had a few injuries really my neck and my back and my achilles have been sore as well not not pulled them but just just tired you know what i mean i think it's probably carrying this heavy rucksack all the time but um just a week ago we went uh went down to lamberis and got the train up snowden that was really good um even though we couldn't make it up to the summit walking we didn't want to aggravate any injuries but at least we got a chance to get up to the summit. We spent the night there, did a bivvy, and uh, yeah, that was really good. Day after, came back down on the train, and then we had a camp in uh, the Ogwin Valley, just above uh, Igarn. Sorry, below Igarn. We didn't go up that high again because of the injuries. Uh, had a swim in the, the lake there, and took the burghouse for that one. Winds got up to about 50 miles an hour, gusts, and... Uh, it was fine, it really was. I got it, I got a really good pitch and got the pegs in really good. So that made a, I think it makes all the difference that. If you can get the pegs in well, pitch it nice and tight, I think most tents will do all right. And uh, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was great to get out again. But uh, yeah, so this is a solo one and first time up uh, Ben Lomond. Um, I think this is one of the most popular Munro's because it's dead accessible from like well, Glasgow. I think I said before, I think it's the most southerly Munro in the Highlands um, and really accessible. So it's, it's very popular, but uh, I'd, I'd never been up previously. When I checked out the pictures online, I thought it looked dead interesting. And I came up that Ptarmigan route and some brilliant views uh, when I had a view. Uh, it didn't last long though. And then it, the cloud was coming and going. But it's supposed to clear later tonight. I've just got my temperature, little temperature probe thing, and I checked it. It's um, half a degree, 0. 0.5 of a degree. So it's it's not freezing. I don't think it's going to freeze tonight. We've had some frost previous couple of nights, but uh, it's a bit warmer tonight. So I don't think we're going to get a frost. But um, I say with that bit of a breeze, it, it does feel cold. And then when I go out, I've been outside just mooching around and you can't touch anything because everything's so damp. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's great to be out. Another Munro, I just looked at my uh, my bagging total and this is Munro 28 for me. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's good. Well, good morning. It's 20 past seven. I've just got out of the tent and I'm up at the summit of Ben Lomond. I thought the sun rise was about half past seven. I just looked at my watch and it's now 7.53. I can't believe how the nights are stretching out so quickly. But um, it's it's stunning up here, it really is. I, haven't, I hadn't seen anything last night because of all the, the cloud and um, it was all clagged in most of the night and a few brief glimpse into the stars and then it was cragged in again but now just to be up here and see all this it's what an amazing summit Ben Lomond is it really is got a bit of a cloud inversion as well looking south tents just there look at that <laughs> People often say, um, uh, when they comment on my videos, and that, that I'm lucky with the weather, but really I'm not lucky with the weather. I mean, obviously there's, a, there's an element of luck in it, always, but I watch the weather, and if the weather's going to be crap, I don't come out. <laughs> Simple as that. I'm a fair weather camper. This is what I want to see. Yeah, some bit of a breeze, it's uh, it's bitter. 
and uh, last night the temperature dropped to <laughs> temperature dropped to zero last night but there's no frost it didn't drop below zero but look at that oh. Right, I'm going to get to, back to the tent for now and uh, I think I'll get some, get the kettle on. Oof.
that wind's picking up now probably about 15 miles an hour just watching the clouds swirling across this ridge Fortunately the wind's changed direction now and it's hitting the back of the tent whereas last night it was blowing straight in the door. Look at that. Sean's had a good night too. Been pretty quiet, had a good night's sleep. So he's ready for uh, he's ready for getting back down soon. Setting back up to the summit now. Great to be able to see something now after yesterday when it was all clagged in. Couldn't see anything. Oh, that ridge, look at that. So the time is quarter to nine. I think I'm going to start packing away now. It'll probably take me about two hours to get back to the car, I think. And then heading home, which will take me about five hours. <laughs> Still, more great mountain memories. I'll start packing up now and I'll get back to you uh, when we're heading back down. See you in a bit. So I've got everything out of the tent now. Everything's just there. Just a matter of uh, packing up the tent. I've just measured the wind speed and pretty much constant 20 miles an hour. Yeah, so that wind's really picking up and it's uh, it's bitter. It's showing um, one degrees of the wind chill, just, just less than one degrees. Right, uh, is that frost on the tent? No, there's no frost on the tent. Right, get the tent packed away now. So that's it, it's half past nine now, we're all packed up, ready to go back down. Uh, it be interesting to see how long it takes me to get back down. I'm reckoning about a couple of hours. Um, and then as I said, it's a five hour drive back home. But uh, yeah, leave no trace as always. Nice and tidy, just like we've never been here. And uh, there's some at Ben Lomond, wave goodbye to that. And head off along that ridge. Let's go.
got a good view of my onward path from here now if you just follow it down there and across the moors there and then it, it'll drop off at the end and probably get go through the forest to get back to the car park just there at the side of Loch Lomond. Yeah, look at that. Wow. So I've been going just over an hour now and I'm nearly back into the horrible forest. I hate forests, it's just me. And Loch Lomond's there looking beautiful. But I can also see, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the GoPro, see the cobbler there, distinctive profile of the cobbler, the different peaks, and you can actually see the little summit, the sticky up bit. And then I think through the gap is Ben Eam, and then in the cloud there is Ben Narnane. That was my first Munro on the Scottish mainland, Ben Narnane. I camped that a couple of years ago. I've camped in front of the cobbler as well. There's a couple of videos on my channel if you fancy watching those. But uh, the path is, there's where I've come down from. The path just there, it was quite stepped. So I got the trekking poles out just to uh, give my knees a bit of a rest. And um, it's flattened out now. So I, I don't know what it's like, I say I've never done this before, so I don't know what it turns into further on. But uh, we'll keep plodding on, so I've done just over an hour, hopefully it's about another hour, back to the car. Let's go. Oh, legs are aching now. So here we are back at the car. It's taken me, what time is it? Set off, set off at 20 to 10. What's that? Hour and a half. With a couple of stops to talk to people. And change of clothing. Yeah, so. Nice to be back, legs are aching. So I thought I'd just sign off uh, on the banks of the beautiful Loch Lomond. And that was a great walk and camp, it really was. I mean, I think um, Ben Lohman seems to be like, oh, everyone says, oh, it's just an easy one and it's a touristy one. And maybe it's a touristy one, but it isn't easy dragging a whatever a kilo rucksack with your camping gear up, up there. That's not easy. But um, tail are too hard, really. I mean, last night I couldn't see anything. A bit disappointed, really. The stars were out late at night, but. Uh, once I got on the summit I couldn't see anything so I was a bit disappointed but certainly rewarded this morning with the, the inversion and the scenes from the summit are absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoyed it too. Get in the comments if you've got any questions about my video, if you've got any advice for me about this area maybe, I always appreciate that and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. See ya!